house is one of the largest financial decisions of your life. But do you know when you're ready to buy a home? Here are five questions to help you find out. Hi, my name is Billy Bryson with Bryson Team Real Estate and Home Loans. If you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment below. Also, if you or anyone you know is considering making a move or refinancing, please give me a call, pass on my number, or you can visit my website for free, helpful real estate and loan information. So how do you know if you're ready to buy a home? Um, owning a home does have advantages for building wealth in life, but I advocate asking yourself these five questions before choosing to buy a home. And if this is the right time. If you can't answer yes to each of these five questions, now might not be the right time. Number one is, is your financial house in order? How much credit card debt do you have? How about auto loans, student loans, or personal loans? I'm not saying that you can't have any debt in order to buy a home, but if you're forced to use a credit card because there seems to always be more month than money, I wouldn't recommend buying a home right now. How about your credit? Are you rocking an 820 credit score or are you scraping by with a 620? Your credit score is the number a bank uses to determine how well you handle credit. If your credit score is low, it might be a good idea just to clean it up a little bit, raise it up before shopping for a home. How about down payment? Have you saved enough for a down payment? That's question number two you need to ask yourself. Your down payment on your first home will most likely be the single largest investment you've ever made. I'm not just talking about the down payment that you'll need, but also all the unforeseen costs that are associated with your purchase. As you probably know, today you can buy a home for as little as 3.5% down. I'm on a $500,000 home, that's $17,500. And a lot of you might say, well, great, I have that. But I don't want you to forget about closing cost, insurance, taxes, and money for repairs. How about furnishing? You know, these costs will easily add thousands of dollars to your bottom line. There's nothing much worse than buying your dream home and not having a cent to fix it up to fulfill your dream. You may be stuck with plain white walls or an olive green bathtub for longer than you would like. If, however, you can't afford the down payment that allows room uh, for breathing and for some upgrades after the purchase, then you're on the right track to uh, buy your first home. Number three is can you really afford the payment? Okay, when it comes to monthly mortgage payment, can you really own for the same amount as you can rent, uh, most agents will tell you yes, enthusiastically yes. And in truth, the amount you pay in rent probably would be similar uh, to what you could pay for a principal and interest on your mortgage loan. However, your principal and interest are not the only costs associated with owning. Don't forget, you have property taxes, you have insurance, you have homeowners association fees, you have city assessments, water, sewage, garbage, other utilities that maybe your landlord currently pays. Uh, this could add hundreds of dollars every single month. So just be cautious using maybe an online mortgage calculator as that would only show principal and interest. So just make sure you uh, do some research and make sure that before you go shopping for a home that you know your personal budget and what you can afford. Um, but I'd recommend taking a, never taking more than about 35% of your take home pay towards your housing payment. Uh, number four, are you ready to settle down? How many job changes have you had in your life? And until you find that one career you plan on keeping for a while, uh, you may find that your next job may create a, a two hour commute or worse, lead you to another city or state. Unless you're in the flipping business, your home is a long-term investment and home prices on average have appreciated around 4% per year. In other words, if you buy a home and you sell it within a year or two, there's a chance that the increased value, if any, won't even cover the closing cost you would need to be able to sell the property. So I recommend plan on staying in your home for at least five years. If you're not ready to commit to that length of time, um, it's okay. Just don't jump on the, I need to buy a house uh, right now because everybody else is buying a home. Um, yes, you could always rent your home out if you were to move out of the area. In fact, um, I'm a believer in turning your prior homes into rentals. That's how I got started in investing in real estate. So it does uh, take work to be a landlord, however, and you should know what you're getting into uh, before diving into real estate investing. So uh, number five is can you fix a leak? When you become a homeowner, you have to be able to fix your own problems. It's perhaps the biggest difference from being a renter. You can't simply just call the apartment office or your landlord to ask them to fix a leaky sink or a broken dishwasher. When you're the owner, you need to have either the ability to fix it yourself or the resources to have others fix it for you. If you can fix things yourself, you can save on the labor, but the material cost can still wreak havoc on your savings. A new dishwasher, for example, isn't cheap. These little surprises are part of home ownership and you should be prepared for them both uh, financially and psychologically. So are you ready to buy a home? Did you answer yes to all the five of these questions? Are your debts and credit score in order? Have you saved enough for the down payment and money for furnishings and moving and upgrades? Can you comfortably afford your monthly payment? 
Are you ready to settle down? Can you fix a leak? If so, I fully encourage you to pursue buying a home if you desire to. Although this video may come across a bit against home ownership, I am a firm believer of buying a home and more than one as soon as you are ready. Uh, if you're not able to answer yes to these five questions, that's okay. Um, owning a home is like having children. <laughs> they may be blessings, but that doesn't mean you need to rush into it. And both homes and kids can be very expensive. So buying a home is a big decision. If it's not so much about when as it is who, and only you know truly who you are, uh, what you can afford and what you can't afford. So be prepared, do your homework and buy when you are ready. Uh, once again, my name is Billy Bryson with Bryson Team Real Estate and Home Loans. Uh, if you or anyone you know is considering making a move or refinancing, please give me a call, pass on my number, or you can visit my website for free, helpful real estate and loan information. Thanks again so much for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. Please make sure to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment below. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.